Hello and welcome back to Stepford County Railway. I'm the Scottish Lord and today we're going to be covering the 1.4.6 update, also known as the 10 million update. That's right, as of today, the Wednesday 15th of April 2020, SCR has hit 10 million visits. That is an amazing number of visits. I'd just like to say well done to the SCR development team for making the game what it is. So, what have they delivered in this update? Well, we have got a brand new train set, which is the class 220 and the 221. The 220 in its four car variant and the 221 a five car variant. Both are 125 miles an hour top speed and all of them have the same routes. As you can see, the class 220 has the regular express livery and the 221 has the 10 million livery, especially done for this model. Now, a few other things that have been added in this update is a few updates to routes. As you can see, we now have a second one, Route 79, Stepford Central to Benton. And for Connect, what we can see is that we now have Stepford Central to Beverly, if I can find it, that is. And that is Route 27. Route 75 on Express now stops at, well, it doesn't stop at St. Helens Bridge. So, st Route 79 is the same as 75, but with an extra stop in the middle. So, we're going to just cover all of this right now. So, as we depart Stepford Depot in the Class 221, one thing that we can note is that it is a bit laggy, and that it has very good noise maybe a tad bit fuzzy but all sounds for this train are as they are in real life as you can see we have the usual custom cab as realistic to the actual model with wonderful modeling on the windows if you look on the outside we can really start to see how much lag this does generate but it's really quite a good payout. Payout? That's not the right word. Payoff. Because the model looks brilliant. This is something that SCR has needed for a while, I feel. Which is this sort of tilty looking train. I always felt that these things looked a little bit like the APTs. Um, but I'm getting off track. When you look at the outside, you can see that we have the 10 million livery and that is just with the words on the side which say 10 million and that lovely yellow hue that represents a real golden age if you will. In terms of outer destination boards we can see that we have all of them by the doors, each revealing the destination. I think that this is a missed opportunity, especially on the likes of the Class 800 and 801 and the 802, that we could have had where the train stops as well, scrolling along, but hey, that's just my opinion and maybe it would have caused a bit of lag. Now, as we come into Stepford Central, we can see that these doors open with a lovely animation. It's slow, but it's good. If we look in first class, first class looks good. And as well as standard class, everything is looking fine, if maybe a little bit bland. On the outside, we can see that we still have the interlock lights and really, there is nothing out of normal for this model. Reversing the route back on Route 79, we can look at the scheduling, 
which shows there is a two minute gap between Stepford Central and St Helens Bridge and a three minute gap between St Helens Bridge and Benton. We're going to test this route now just to check that it's realistic to do because sometimes it can be I, that with not a laggy PC, a very smooth PC, the routes can be a lot faster to run. However, with the average person not having a £500 supercomputer, I think that we should test this. So as we depart Stepford Central, we can see that it does bear the same acceleration as all 125 mile an hour oddles, oddles, models. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, as you can see by the clock, it is currently 10 to 9, and my mouth isn't working properly. Maybe a bit fast on the sound upping there. And if anything, really, it doesn't have that smooth uptone that I would have thought should be integrated. As you can see, this will be quite difficult to reach St Helens Bridge in the allotted time. At the moment, we still have one mile and 0.30 of a mile to go in less than a minute, which, when you put that into perspective, you'd have to be really going at about 140 I think to get that sort of speed to get within that target I mean for most people you want to stop at 20 seconds before so you can get away as well as possible as you can see we now have the uh, Morpeth board telling us that we have a 75 mile an hour limit and whilst we don't get that 20 second advance, it does appear that we are going to be able to stop at St. Helens Bridge on time. Maybe a couple of seconds late, but in the grand scheme of things, this is realistic. The stationary sounds as well are brilliant. You can hear them very clearly in the emptiness of St. Helens Ridge. And as you can see, also, all the outer boards now say Benton. As the doors shut, we can then take off into the night and out of St. Helens Bridge. This train is the Stepford Express service to Benton. The next station is Benton. One thing that irritates me with the announcements is that they say this is a Stepford Express service. I don't think that it should say that. Now this is my opinion, these aren't facts, but I believe really that Connect, it doesn't say this is a Stepford Connect service, it just goes this is a Connect service. So, for that reason, why have we got this is a Stepford Express service? To me, that just doesn't make sense, so I think this is something that maybe they should fix. As we come into Bowdoin, we are able to accelerate up to 125 miles an hour. And we have two miles to go in 1 minute 23. I have to say that this is still a very ambitious goal, though perhaps it is realistic with this model. I'm currently playing on a VIP server, however, so that will influence the frame rate that most people would get. I would suspect that perhaps you would get in maybe 30, even up to a minute late, if not more, on a higher server with let's just say about 10 people so I think really that should be taken into account we've got another Morpeth board here 
which is telling us we now need to decrease our speed to 75 miles per hour as we are coming into Benton that then switches to 45 this train is now approaching Benton this train terminates here all change please and as you can see where we're at had right there, we will not be able to stop at Benton directly on time, even on a VIP server. So, as we come into a gradual stop, the door opening chimes are brilliant as well. So really, what we've got here is a well put together model. I'm not going to review the class 220 as it is exactly this well it is the same as the class 221 but with just one less carriage. So with that we're now going to move on. So you may be wondering TSL what are you doing in Stepford Central as a dispatcher in a one player VIP server? Well that is because groupings the grouping for Stepford Central Dispatching used to be 4 through 9 for the platforms. So you could only do the connect platforms. However, with the new update, you now have access to platforms 1 through 3, which are express, giving an extra level of difficulty, but a bit more realism to the dispatching aspect of the game at Stepford Central. So really, that is it for the 10 million update. It's not a big one, a lot of bug fixes, but not necessarily a lot in the way of features. But that is fine. We weren't expecting a big update for the 10 million visits. But if you've enjoyed this, then make sure to check out my other update videos, which are in the playlist right there. Bam, I'm still good at this. And if you really enjoy it, make sure to give it a like. And if you like the rest of the content and want to enjoy what I'm doing and see what I upload, then make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. But either way, I've been the Scottish Lord, you've been the wonderful viewers, goodbye.